a little bit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you were saved, sin was given to you as a gift. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You receive it in Adam. In Adam all die. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You did not need to do nothing, anything for you to become a sinner. You were born sinner. You are sinner by practice. The Bible says we came into this world speaking lies. You don't teach a child to lie. A child lies naturally because he is a born a sinner. Hallelujah. He inherits sin in his DNA. He inherits sin in his nature. Hallelujah. He was born with it. Like your hand was given to you as a gift. You were born with a hand. You were born with feet. So you were born with sin. But the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? The Bible says in Jesus Christ we are created in righteousness. We are created in holiness. We are created in redemption. We are created. Let me tell you something. When I was born again, I was born with righteousness. When I was born again, I was born with holiness. When I was born again, I was born with redemption against the powers of darkness. I was born with it. It came to me when I was born. It's part of my spiritual DNA. Hallelujah. It was given to me as a gift. How many of you are trying to have a hand? You already have it. How many of you are trying to have a feet? No. Why are you trying to be righteous? Hallelujah. When you were born with it. Why are you trying to be holy? When you are born with it. Why are you trying to, 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 to hallelujah, to, to reign against them? When you, you, the Bible says we have redemption through his blood. All you need to do, turn to your neighbor and say, receive it. Those who receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign. Don't find it difficult to receive righteousness. Don't find it difficult to receive grace. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. There are many people today uh, in many holiness churches. Uh, they, oh, they have to pile laws and laws for you to become holy. No, 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 no. Hallelujah. I am holy by birth. Hallelujah. All I need to do is just believe it uh, and walk in it. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, all I need to do, uh, hallelujah, is walk in it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, let me tell you something today. Uh, listen to me. Those who receive abundance of grace will reign. Those who receive abundance of grace, what? Will reign. I think I need to step in some Pentecostal toe today. Hallelujah. Pentecostals today are buying everything with money. If you don't sow a seed, you don't get healing. If you don't sow a seed, oh yes, people today are saying, oh you need sacrifice, you need to bring the money. If you don't put the sacrifice on the altar, hallelujah, you won't receive lies from the enemy. I tell you, you today, hallelujah, we are saved, we are healed by the blood of Jesus. We are saved, we are healed by the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It is by grace are we saved through faith, not of works. The gift of God cannot be bought with money somebody said to me yeah their pastor said to them i'm going to take my grace from you <laughs> K 
keep your grace i want the grace of our lord jesus christ i receive by his stripes we are healed he took my infirmity and carried my sickness there is no grace but of god Those who receive abundance of grace, it is by grace you are saved. It is by grace you are healed. It is by grace you are delivered. I am here to tell you today, Jesus Christ left Israel. He went to Syrophilicia. There was a woman who don't have any covenant with God. Any covenant with God. And as Jesus was walking, this woman was crying behind him and said, Lord Jesus, thou son of David. Hallelujah. What did she say? Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Mercy is grace. Mercy is divine favor. Have mercy on me. Jesus turned to her. He said, woman, you are not in covenant with God. How can I take the children's bread and give it to dogs? The woman says, yes, Jesus. You are right. I am not in covenant with God. He said, but you know what? I'm just asking for grace that fall from the hallelujah, the master's table. Glory to God. I am here to tell you today, hallelujah, you can be healed without sowing a seed. I'm here to tell you today, you can be delivered without sowing a seed. I am here to tell you today, you can be saved without sowing a seed, without laying a sacrifice on a altar because Jesus Christ is the lamb that was slain that sacrifice will do in the name of Jesus the Bible says we were buried with him we died with him we resurrected with him and now we are seated in heavenly places far above principles and powers let me say this to you this may shock you but God has no favorites our gifts may different, but God have no favorites. We are all his favorites. The same death of Jesus Christ on the cross for you, Reverend Millicent, is the same death for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When we came to this world, the Bible says, how are we saved? We all the Bible says uh, God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. The measure of faith by which you got saved. It's the same measure I got saved though. But this thing is, some people have taken the time, glory to God, amen, to receive more. They that receive abundance. So the measure, just guys, always taught in scripture, the measure you measure shall be measured unto you. The measure, hallelujah, just guys, put it this other way again. It says, as you have believed, so shall it be unto you. It is the measure you receive that calls you to reign more than somebody else. The Bible says some people receive seed on the wayside. Those people did nothing with the word. Birds came and took it. Some people receive seed where? Among stony ground. And as they begin to grow, cares and worries of this life come and choke it. Some people are allowing the cares and worries of this life to choke the word in their life. You know why it appears that there are some people who are favorite than others? It's not because God has given their favorites. It's because some people decide to receive more. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sister Iret, stand up for me. Praise the Lord. If Sister Iret decide to receive more in the area of casting out demons, she will cast more demons out than me. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. You know why some people today, they are prospering? They believe in prosperity. They give more, so what happens? They receive more. 
But watch those same people, they have not received more on the teaching on holiness. They will, they will swindle anybody, and they are Christians. They decided, I'm not going to receive there. Hallelujah. 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 The spirit of faith that you have is the same spirit of faith I have. The Bible says we have received the same spirit of faith. That's what scripture says. The same spirit of faith. Today I want to encourage you. Receive. What you receive, you will walk in. If you receive righteousness, you will walk in righteousness. Many, if you receive holiness, you said, I am it, you will walk in it. But the problem with Christians today is receiving it. Jesus Christ has been teaching me these days about the way he ministered to people. You know, the way Jesus Christ ministered to people was like it was already done. He did not even pray for it. He just accepted it as done deal. When he reached Lazarus' grave, what did he say? Lazarus, come. As far as he is concerned, I am the resurrection and the life. He met the cripple. He didn't shikarabakuri arabasa. He looked at the cripple. He said, stretch forth your hands. It is done deal because he took our infirmities and carried our sorrows. He met the man. He says, do you want to be made well? The man says, I don't have any money. He said, just take up your bed and walk. Receive it. There are many people who are coming to the altar today crying, God, oh God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Paul, he met the Christians. You know what he said to them? Have you what? Received the Holy Spirit. So in other words, I'm looking, God is looking for people who come into the altar and says, oh, apostle, just do me a favor. Just lay hands on me. I want to, and I'm going to be, be filled with the Holy Spirit today. I'm here to receive the Holy Spirit. I am here to receive my healing. <clears throat> we are going to finish soon. I am receiving my healing. You know, I want you to understand this. All of these things came in your new birth. It's all in the package of the new birth. You were born with it. The same death of Jesus Christ on the cross for your sin was the same death of Jesus Christ on the cross for your healing. The same death of Jesus Christ on the cross for your healing. It was condemning and killing sin and the power of sin on the cross. The same death of Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? On the cross. He was defeating and spoiling principalities and powers and making a show of them openly triumphing over them. The same death of Jesus Christ on the cross was making you righteous. The same death of Jesus Christ on the cross was making you holy. The same death of Jesus Christ on the cross was giving you redemption. The same death of Jesus Christ on the cross was giving you access to come to God the same death of Jesus Christ on the cross is giving you assurance of answered prayers one of my favorite prayer that I've been many of you in this church will know that my prayer father I know that you have heard me I know that you hear me always do you believe that do you receive that? Do you receive that? Reverend Millie says, God hears you always. <clears throat> if you have that confidence that God hears you always, whatever you pray, you know that God hears you. I beg to differ. God does not hear sometimes. God hears always. 
I beg to differ. God does not hear sometimes. God hears always. In Christ Jesus, God hears always. I'm not worried about the time of manifestation. That is not my concern. The Bible says, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Now listen to me. The and ye shall have them is not my business. That is his business. So I'm not worried about God's business. I'm worried about my own business. My own business, it says what? Believe that ye receive them. That's it. When it happens or when it doesn't happen. So for me, as far as I'm concerned, it has already happened when Jesus Christ died. Amen. Hallelujah. So I believe that I receive it. And if she allow them, it's not my business. You see, many times, you know, we try to make our God's business our own business. That's, why we, that's when we go into a lot of problems. It says, you believe. You see, you believe before you receive. That's what scripture said also. Believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Some people want to see it first before they believe. Please don't be like Thomas. He says, unless I see the nail, unless I see, I will believe. This guy says, blessed are those who have not seen, but they believe. Hallelujah. In this world... We live by our five senses. We know something is sweet when we taste it. We know if something is smooth or rough when we touch it. That is how a physical man lives. But I want you to understand that a spiritual man, spiritual man lives by his faith. The righteous shall live by faith. Abraham, you're going to have a child. Abraham was a hundred years old and Sarah was 90. The Bible says, Abraham considered not his body now dead, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, being fully persuaded that what God has promised, he is able to perform. But then I want you to understand that you are Christians. And that means you need to receive grace. It is by grace. It is by grace. The thief on the cross has never had opportunity because he was there and dying on the cross to even do one good thing. Jesus he says, Lord, remember me when you come into thy kingdom. Just because today, today, today you will be with me in paradise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's it. He has to believe. And I want to say to you as we stand up, all things are possible to those who believe. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Those that receive, you know what righteousness is? Righteousness is is being able to stand before God without any guilt. Righteousness is God forgiving your sins. And when you stand before God, it's like you've never seen before. And he, it is not because of what you did. He gave it to you as a gift. So today, I want you to have boldness and confidence. Have boldness and confidence in your prayer too. God does not only answer the, the prayer of your pastor. He answers your prayers too. God does not have first son, second son, third, except Jesus Christ who was the first. We are all equally his sons. We can all come boldly to his grace, throne of grace. We can obtain. Brethren, you don't need to work for it. You just need to believe that you receive it and you shall have them. I just want you to pray. Bow your heads with me today. If you today, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you today 
if you have not given your life to Jesus, you have not received his righteousness. And that righteousness came by his death on the cross for you. If you have not received his righteousness, if you have not received that grace by which you are saved, it is grace. I just want you, as you bow your head, I just want you to say this prayer with me. It is just receiving. It's just receiving. Just say this prayer with me if you want to make, receive this grace to reign in life, to rule over sin, to rule over sickness, to rule over the powers of darkness, to rule over poverty, to rule over the things of the, the world, the devil, all his cohorts, if you want to rule. And at the end of the day, you want to receive eternal life, to be with God in heaven. Just say this prayer with me. Dear God in heaven, have mercy on me, a sinner. I repent of my sins. I am not saved by my good works. I am here today to receive the free gift of eternal life. I am here to receive your free grace by which I am saved. I make my confession. Christ died for my sins. According to the scriptures, he was buried on the third day, rose again from the dead for my justification. With my heart, I believe unto righteousness. And with my mouth, my confession is made unto salvation. Thank you for saving me. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. And by receiving Jesus today, I too become a son of God. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for the Lord as you take your seats. Hallelujah. Please be seated in his wonderful presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, today, you know, the Bible says we need to, you know, there are some people who have been in this ministry before us. There are some people who they have toiled and uh, they have worked very hard. Today I want to welcome a man of God, somebody that has been in the ministry, the father of our own Sister Allen. Praise the Lord. Have you heard Sister Allen preach? Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Reverend Annes Williamson Taylor. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Can you just, come on, let's welcome the man of God. Come up, sir, please. Come and join me, sir. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. All the way from Freetown. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sorry, here. Amen. She has, it's been for a while, isn't it? Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, man of God. For America, sorry. Praise the Lord. God bless you, man of God. Please, can you just give us a, a welcome? Just, 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 uh, just a one, one, one. Up. Praise the Lord. It is a good thing to give thanks. As I sat there today, I was feeling ill. I was eating off the hand of your pastor. It is good when you are attentive to his precepts and his word. And I thank you for the message you brought to us. Unfortunately, I will be leaving the United Kingdom tomorrow, going back to the United States. But I am happy and I am thankful that I found this time to come fellowship with you guys. Thank you very much, sir. Please, have a seat, man of God. Come on, have a seat. <laughs> Please, amen. Hallelujah. Well, we have come... Um, to the end of the service. And let me just hand over to Pastor Mary. Is there? Are you? Okay, all right. Okay, so let's just do this quickly. Announcement and vote of thanks, and then we say the benediction. Amen. So um, who's going to do the announcement, Sister um, Ronella or Brother Charles? Brother Charles, please just come with the announcement for us quickly, and then we will do vote of thanks, and then we will do the benediction, and then we're going to go downstairs 
and we're going to have a time of, um, we're going to have a dinner downstairs, amen. I think they have all set for us um, downstairs. There is so much for us to eat today before we go home, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, Brother Charles, let's do this quickly. People are hungry. They have done phys spiritual food. They need to eat physical food. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm hungry too after this preaching. <laughs>